If you've been hearing the Charlotte 49ers name more recently, uh, there's a good reason for that. Their sports programs have been quite successful as of late. Here's a look at their recent resume, finishing with the best average finish in Conference USA for the third straight year. Last year, the 49ers won a conference title in a school record eight sports, and that success has them chasing even more. The 49ers will make their official move to the American Athletic Conference at the start of this month. And part of their success is due to the guy at the helm of the athletic department. Charlotte Sports Live's Carla Gebhardt caught up with athletic director Mike Hill to talk about the move and what it means for the 49ers going forward. You made lots of noise in Conference USA, even just most recently, what, eight titles recently in the athletic department. That's a lot of success there and really gotten a lot of people talking. I think nationally, the, the baseball team in, in the postseason, that was really exciting. Um, but, but what does this move mean for, for all of those, those teams? Well, I think in the end, again, it's, it's about trying to continue to elevate our profile as a program, as an institution. And this league allows us that opportunity with the visibility that we have on their national uh, TV package. Uh, in addition to some great competition, you know, our, our teams have performed really well. We've been the top performing athletics program in Conference USA for three straight years now. And uh, this year to set a school record with eight conference championships is really hard to imagine. I mean, it's, it's, it's a credit to our coaches and to our student athletes for what they've been able to do so far. And I know that there's probably fans out there, you know, that, that maybe wanted to stay in Conference USA. But again, this is an opportunity for growth for the whole athletic department. So and you do need their support, you know, fundraising, all of these things from those fans. So what would you tell those fans that maybe might be a little bit more hesitant to, to the new conference? Well, I, I think this look, you know, you, you can't you can't play scared, right? Like we, we want to step up our level of competition. Um, and, and be a part of something big, and that's what we're here to do. And, and the growth that we've had as a program and as a university for the last five years has really been phenomenal. And so, uh, but we're not done. We have a lot of work to do still. We know that. And so that's the joy in building something that hasn't been done before. And that's what we're doing right now. You know, baseball team making the NCAA tournament for the second time in three years. Our softball team made its first ever uh, uh, NCAA tournament. Tennis made their first ever NCAA tournament. You know, basketball won the CBI tournament, our first ever postseason championship in basketball. And yet, that's not where we want to be. Like, we want more than that. We want NCAA tournament appearances. We want bowl appearances. We want to advance farther in the NCAA tournament in all, this, all of those sports. So if you're a competitor, and we all are, whether you're a coach, athlete, or administrator, you continue to push and drive to be the best. And a lot of times, that's how judged on the company that you keep. And so we're going to be keeping company with some really impressive athletics programs and we're excited about it. Yeah, certainly an opportunity for that. I know if there is a lull in athletics, it's probably right now, but we've even got the volleyball team practicing outside of your window here in Houston Arena. Uh, so, so not much of a lull, but we do have the football team coming back in in a couple of weeks and a lot of excitement with this going into this season. Biff Poggi, the excitement that he's brought, and he's been very vocal about the support. But, but what does Coach bring uh, to this program going into this football season? I've been around a lot of great coaches in my career. And I'm not sure I've seen a coach drive as hard as he does in terms of recruiting, in terms of making sure that the talent level is elevated. I mean, I, the football team, when you walk out at practice, you don't recognize them if you were here a year ago. There's so many new faces, so many new players, and uh, we got a lot bigger uh, and a lot more athletic, I think. So now obviously the competition level steps up as well. And so uh, that was kind of a prerequisite, I think, to, to get us ready to go. But I've been so impressed by his ability to, to recruit and to build a staff that has recruited so effectively. Because as he says, you win with players. If you're a great coach and you don't have great talent, you're not going to win. You have to have great talent. And so it's exciting to see. And of course, this is step one. This is year one. His sense of urgency is at a very high level. Um, you know, it's in interesting to me that the best coaches that I've been around almost have more of a fear of failure than they do uh, celebrating the joy of winning. They just do not want to fail. And this is a guy who's not failed in anything in his career. I mean, he's, he's a winner, and uh, we're excited about what he's building. Thank you.